Welcome to CSC Movie Recaps. I'm going to explain the film Ajin Demi Human, which was released in 2017. The plot centers around Ajin, a new form of eternal human. They can survive any amount of punishment and, even if they die, they resurrect almost instantly. The first Ajin was discovered in South Africa 26 years ago. The Japanese government appointed the Ajin Management Committee to investigate the matter. The film begins with the death of a man called K. Nogai in a truck accident. However, he resurrects with all of his injuries healed, revealing that he is an Ajin. Nogai was enjoying a fully regular life before the accident. Soon after the tragedy, the Ajin Management Council, which is supposed to safeguard the Ajin, seizes control of Nogai. But, instead of shielding him from harm, it is revealed that the committee is subjecting him to cruel tests. Nogai has been designated as the third Ajin by the government. It's apparent that they had previously experimented on two more Ajin. Nogai is mercilessly experimented on in the following incident at a research lab Utazaki, the chairman of the Ajin Management Committee, reports to the government on the ongoing study. Tazaki requests that the researchers cut off his arms and legs in order to study the regeneration process. Nogai is still unaware of his Najin identity and is devastated by the experimentation on him. As he suffers in excruciating pain, he ponders why this is happening to him. Meanwhile, a government officer questions Tazaki if the third Ajin experiment will be successful, given that the previous two experiments failed and the public still believes that the government and the Ajin Management Committee are preserving all three Ajin. The officer is concerned, but Tazaki assures him that there is nothing to be concerned about. Then, Soto and Tanaka, two burglars, break into the research lab and begin shooting at the guards. Soto looks at the security camera and informs Tazaki that he and Tanaka have arrived to rescue Nogai. He also confesses that he freed Tanaka from those terrible tests a few years ago and tells Tazaki that things will be different today. When Tazaki hears this, he quickly orders the guards to stop Soto and Tanaka from using fatal anesthetics. While the two intruders are fighting the guards, one of the guards sprays a tranquilizer at Soto. Surprisingly, Soto slices his wrist and fights on. Nevertheless, when he is shot again, he kills himself. As Soto's hand regenerates and he resurrects, it becomes evident that he, too, is an Ajin. We learn here that Soto and Tanaka were the two previous lab test subjects. A few moments later Soto continues to slaughter the guards and the researchers while he frees Nogai. After that, Soto hands Nogai a gun and orders him to shoot at the three remaining researchers. But, Nogai disagrees, so Soto kills one of the researchers to demonstrate how it's done. This enrages Nogai, who shoots Soto multiple times before fleeing with the researchers. After some time, Soto regains consciousness and locates Nogai and the researchers. He instantly murders the researchers and begins hunting Nogai in order to kill him because the latter refuses to kill humans and instead collaborates with others. Soto summons a black ghost, which is the essence and abilities of a jinn from within himself, in the following scene. Nogai accidentally calls his dark ghost, and when the two ghosts begin tussling, Nogai seeks to flee. Soto, who is faster and stronger than Nogai, is able to stop him. Nogai, on the other hand, uses his black ghost to kill Soto and flee. After Soto regains consciousness, he and Tonika encounter the media reporters who have been waiting outside. Tonika, the research lab for the Ajin upgrade, disguises himself as a handicapped victim, and Soto drags him before the media. Soto discloses all the details of the Ajin Management Committee's barbaric experiments there. As Soto tells how he saved Tanaka from the government, he mentions a webpage that depicts Tanaka being experimented on despite the fact that they are eternal. Soto claimed that they must endure excruciating agony during the experiments. He has stated that he wants civic rights for all elderly people as well as a special autonomous area for them. The news and recording quickly spread throughout the world. The next morning, Nogai arrives in a village and meets an old woman who thinks Nogai looks like her grandson and brings him to her house to rest. Nogai's sister Eriko, who is in a hospital, learns about her brother on television. Afterwards, Tazaki's assistant Izumi inquires about Nogai's location with Eriko. 
but she is unaware when suddenly Izumi is assaulted by Tonika's black ghost who is outside the hospital. Surprisingly, Izumi is also a jinn as her black ghost emerges from her body and battles with Tonika's ghost. Tanaka then comes inside the hospital to attack Izumi and capture Eriko. But when he sees them encircled by a large crowd, he flees. In the following scene, Tazaki defends himself and the administration in a press conference. In response to Soto's allegations, he maintains that Soto's words are false and that the recording is faked. Meanwhile, Nogai remains with the old woman, assisting her on the farm. Later, when he hears about his sister Eriko on the radio, he goes to the hospital and meets her on the roof, fearing that Soto and Tanaka will attack Eriko. Meanwhile, Soto releases a video in which he threatens the government and the public, stating that if the government does not meet his requests quickly, he and his associates will demolish the health ministry and the Ajin management committee. He also sends a message to all the Ajin who are hiding from humans, inviting them to join the fight as he discloses the date of the battle. On the designated day, the health minister remains calm in his office, believing that nothing would happen due to the large number of police outside. He is not concerned about the building's protection since a plane crashes into it, causing extensive damage and casualties. After he comes to after dying, in the crash, it is revealed that Soto was flying the plane. We also see additional Ajin in support of Soto after his proclamation in the recording. After Soto makes his way outside the wrecked building, police surround him and shoot him continually, preventing him from reviving. Tanaka then shoots at the police with a sniper from another building, distracting them and allowing Soto to resurrect. As soon as Soto resurrects, he defeats all of the police officers utilizing his Ajin abilities. Following that, he posts another video in which he demands that the government and Tazaki relinquish Tokyo and empty it within two days. If the demands are not met, he and his associates will release a deadly gas into the city, resulting in mass extermination. Meanwhile, Nogai and Eriko flee the old woman's house after the villagers learn that Nogai is in a gin and attempt to assault him. Meanwhile, Tazaki calls Soto and offers him North Hokkaido instead of Tokyo, which Soto declines. Later, when Tazaki exits the building, he notices Nogai. In exchange for the government's protection of his sister, Nogai offers to help him protect the humans fighting Soto and his associates. He also demands a new human identity after Soto is defeated, and having no other options, Tazaki accepts the agreement. Soon after, Nogai collaborates with Tazaki and other government officials to devise a strategy to combat Soto and his associates. Tanaka spent four years as a test subject at the research facility, whereas Soto was subjected to 20 years of experiments. Because of the immense agony, they despise humans and wish to protect other Ajin from such cruelty. Soto and his team leave after two days to fight the government. One of their associates infiltrates the building and hacks the government system. Tanaka, on the other hand, holds people captive within the building. After that, they move upwards to release the poisonous gas, while Tazaki confronts the hacker and points a gun at him. However, when Tanaka and his men arrive at the room where the gas is located, a black mist appears over the room, disturbing Tanaka and his men's vision. It turns out that the black mist is spread by Nogai from his black ghost through a vent. Taking advantage of this, the police were able to calm Tanaka and his men. Later, we see Soto in a wood shop, and he somehow resurrects within. It is then shown that Soto had cut his hand and had hidden it inside Tonika's purse. As a result, Soto regrows his body with his hand at the building. This amazes both Nogai and the cops, who quickly seek to calm him down. But, to protect himself, Soto uses his black ghost as a shield and kills the cops. After locating Tanaka and other associates and rousing them, they proceed to the room containing the dangerous gas. 
Soto climbs to the top of the building with the gas and requests that Nogai confront him. Soon after, Nogai appears, and a violent combat starts, in which both of them struggle against each other, as do their ghosts. Meanwhile, Tazaki encounters Tanaka, who quickly attacks him with his black ghost. Izumi arrives just in time to save Tazuki as he is about to be executed. After that, she begins fighting Tanaka, while their ghosts also fight. In the midst of the pandemonium, Tazaki injects a sedative into Tanaka's body, knocking him out. In other news, Nogai and Soto continue their fierce combat. Soto is impressed with Nogai, who has developed into a skilled combatant in just a few weeks. Nogai then shoots Soto with a tranquilizer, losing one of his arms in the process. Despite being knocked out, Soto's spirit remains awake and instantly kills and revives him. Seeing this, Nogai is distraught since he lacks the energy to continue fighting. When Soto approaches Nogai and prepares to execute him, a group of police officers bursts in and shoots the Ajin with a taser gun, freezing them to death. The cops then kill both of them and gather their body parts, making it impossible for them to regenerate. Nogai's hand, which was severed during the struggle, begins to regenerate near the end of the film. As soon as he awakens, he leaps from the top of the building and flees. That's it for now, I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more stuff like this and hit the like button.